Glasgow. All right, hello everybody. Good, good evening. Lagging wicked, that's no good, Ian. But maybe, uh, hey, thanks. Appreciate it. I got a haircut. Look at that. <laughs> maybe the lag won't be as bad now that we started over. So, yeah. All right. Got a few people back. Let's get right to it. ¿Qué es eso? Eso... Eso es uh, Chatoquita de uh, uh, Namibia, or no, no, de Congo. Chatoquita. Chatoquite. Uh, we're going to have a bunch of new people that jump in here too. So, uh, let's see. So, Chatoquite. I'll go ahead and show that. Chatukai from Kakaveld. No, Kakaveld? Or is this Congo? I can't remember. We're going to put 60 bucks on that guy. All right. Let's go ahead and start with a wow. Hey, what's up, Bill? I'm going to wow you now. Let's start. I've shown this a few times. But this is really fun. I think I counted at least five bubbles in this one. Yeah, it's a fun piece. It's got a lot of water in it. Anyways, that's a big palm piece like this. It's five or six bubbles, something like that. And that one is marked 800. I'm going to take 700 tonight if you're interested in that piece. That's. Pretty special one. Okay, next. Oh, let's do... What are we going to do? Let's do some opal pendants. Opals are always going to look better in your hand and with your eyes than through this phone. Still pretty good. You get a pretty good idea of what's going on there. What's up, Miguel? Thanks for coming back. This one, Opal Pendant, 75. Pretty sweet. Super nice, super nice opal. Oops, I'm knocking my stuff around. All right, and let's do the opal. This one's got a little bit of pin fire going on in there. You can see the little pin dot pin drops in there. That one's one ten. 
And it's about that big. Super nice quality. This is all Ethiopian opal, sterling silver, that one's 75 bucks. And we got one more of those. Thank you for returning and joining us. Glad to have you all here. Just throwing stones. There's a little bit of pin fire in that one there. And that one is 70. And for all of you that were in the show an hour, a few minutes ago, you know the deal. And let's see here. Let's do. Got some Spessor Tide garnets from Tanzania. Some cute little things here. Very nice color. And that one's 30. We're gonna mark that down to 25. That one's 48. We're going to mark that down to 40. Here's a bigger garnet. These are all dodecahedrons, really nice shape, good color, all from Tanzania from like 2006 or seven. That's when I got these. So when, the, when they hit the big pocket, there was a bunch of huge pieces, like fist size pieces. And so that one's a lot bigger than the other ones. Pretty good color, that one. What does that say? 12.4 grams. It's marked 150. We're going to do this one for 120. Here's another nice jammy one. Now you can see just good translucency on that. It's up like this. Got a little bit of graphite here. And that one is marked 200. We're going to mark that one down to 160. This is another Spessartite garnet from Tanzania, 2006. And this one is March 75. We're going to take 60 on this one. And one more of these. No, two more. And I'm going to move on to something else. 
And this guy here. That one's more jammy. Anyways, you get the point. That one is 45. We're going to mark that one down to 35. That's a good one. And last but not least, also jammy. That one's marked 88. That one's coming down to 70. Nice piece. Very good piece. Okay, Doc. Everybody still here? Give me a shout out. Every time we have to come back on, it's like a whole new crowd comes on. So participation would be good. Thank you. I'm getting sleepy. Yes, Janet, you may. Smallest garnet for 25 is this one. Thank you very much. Jay Condry, this is Mark 30. Let's go to 25. Oh, boy. Thanks, you guys. Appreciate it. Yes, so this rainbow, this is the Rainbow Buddha. Rainbow Body Buddha is the highest level of attainment in Buddhism where you literally turn into a rainbow. <laughs> Or, you know, you just become a light a light body and ascend and leave your body. That's like the the symbol of, um, the, you know, like I said, it's the Rainbow Body Buddhism. You can definitely go look it up. So this concept was, you know, find a crystal that has a rainbow in it. And it's got a really nice clear situation. And, like, you can see the rainbow. Like, I handpicked all of the uh, pieces of rough that I wanted to use. And I sent them to a carver and we had these made and also put in silver so i didn't come up with the idea but i definitely once i saw it i was like oh yeah i want to pursue that and i made a little group of them so it's pretty cool rainbow body buddha oh, does it have one yeah this one it's 375 bucks tonight we're going to take 350 it's a pendant sterling silver uh, what's next? All right, so this is super cool. This is pyrite and quartz. Super clean quartz, very nice sphere. You can see this is a dodecahedron of pyrite on one half and on the other side. This particular find on the other side, it's flat with this little nipple or knob or something. And it's really cool. This one's super clean, so it magnifies that really well. Uh, excuse me, it's about this big. It's a nice piece. It's really hard to get these like super, super clean with these awesome shapes. This one's marked 180. We're going to take 160 on this one. And that's a really special piece. Shark's teeth? This is like, I was never really into shark's teeth until we started going to the beaches and where they had a bunch of shark's teeth and we started finding them every day and it was just like, whoa, shark's teeth. So I have a much better, appreci bigger appreciation for shark's teeth now and how hard they are to find. They find these scuba diving in the rivers in South Carolina. We, we, I don't think, it's not impossible, but to find something like that on the beach would be crazy. I would lose my shit if I found this on the beach. This is polished. So it takes a little bit of the grime off and makes it all nice and shiny. And it doesn't have a price. So we call to price it. This is probably 45. 45 bucks for that. Another one, it's shark's tooth, 
from South Carolina. This one is 40. Bigger one. And that one's seventy. All right, let's see. Let's these out here. If you guys are interested in these, I'm gonna make these. In. This might be something. I know, Janet, you bought some of the stalactite ones. I, I think you bought some slices too. And this is another little group here that I've got. These are polished on both sides. Um, let me do this. Rotocross sites, stalactites from Argentina. These are sliced down the C-axis. Well, they don't have a C-axis, but down the length. They're polished on both sides. Uh, this is a pair here. This is a group of three. Uh, <laughs> so, yes, the sliced ham. The one on the bottom looks like it has a heart. Yes, this is a heart. So this is going to be $30 for that pair, and these are $15 each, and these are $10 each, and these are going to be $20. So if you like any of those, um, I'll sit here for a minute. So this is $30 for the pair, $15 each, $10 each. 20 each. Okay, yep. Second row, second from the left. This one for 10, Janet. Thank you. I'm assuming that's the one, yep. Yeah. Probably need a baggie for that. All right, so 30, 15 each, 10 each, 20 each. Oh, no, hold on, she said not the 10. <laughs> second row, second from the right. Which is the second row? This one? Hmm. Well, there's the piece. You mean this one? For 15. Okay, so that one. Gotcha. All right, so it's 15. All right, so we got that. Uh, we got a bunch of new people here, so we could probably do a recap. We got. Desert glass, crazy pieces here. We've got some crazy Moldavite uh, pendants and uh, some jewelry over there and whatnot. I got you on that one, Janet. Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. What's next? I think I've got space for one more tray. And then I'm going to call it quits because I'm getting tired. All right. I do, power Lime, I do have a bunch of Moldavite rings. I can't really show them right now very easily. Um, but direct message me. Yes, Emily, definitely direct message me afterwards. Um, I'll probably be up for a little bit.
Uh, I should probably actually call it quits because I'm still going to need at least an hour uh, to communicate with people and whatnot about other demands and desires. Um, cool. Janet Mandarin Garnet's faceted. You know what? I think I do have something like that. Um, I have to... No, what happened to those? I did have some at some point. Um, I'll take a look and see if I can find them. I think I'm going to call it quits tonight, guys. And then if you need me, I'm available for another hour if you want a direct message. So, Emily, we can talk about stuff. And other folks, if there was something that you saw earlier in the first show that you uh, wanted to see. Or if you want to... Uh, get on the list of what you want to see that I haven't shown. Uh, we can do that too. So I appreciate everybody for being here. Sorry if you just joined. Uh, I think we're going to call it quits for tonight. We did show a bunch of stuff. Go back and look at the live that we did the last four hours. If you see anything that you like, let me know. And I'm happy to help you find the stones that are meant for you. Thanks, Miguel. Appreciate it. Appreciate y'all being here. And yeah, I'm going to call it a night. Best wishes to all of you amazing people. And thank you, Janet. I appreciate it. I'll be up for at least another hour. I always get so much energy doing these shows, and it takes me a while to get back into sleep mode, but I actually am finishing up a show in Tokyo in the next couple of hours, so it would probably be good for me to be up anyways. Thanks, Joseph. Good to see you. Uh, we'll be back. I'm, I might not be available next, next Sunday. I think I'm going to go to Denver, and I'll probably be there. Uh, so I'm going to skip a week again. Thank you, Stacy. appreciate you. We will definitely... Um, be creating these invoices and sending them off to you within about 12 hours uh, as we usually do and for all of you who have not been here before we thank you for coming and for all of you who have been here before we thank you for being here and continuing to come back and uh, we wish you a really good evening and a great week we wish you uh, prosperity and joy and happiness and that you can fulfill all of your wildest dreams uh, have a good night thank you